to hear you say it. Yeah. And why is that? Forget it, Todd. I'm sorry I even asked. What is all of this about? Just forget it, all right? No, seriously. If I said that you were a lousy mother, you would give me custody just like that just because I said so? Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wanted to know, that's all. You want me to give you my opinions on your parenting skills? I don't think so, Blair. Look, I... It's just that I've made a total mess out of my life. I, I don't want to mess up stars. Well, then you should keep her away from her big, bad father. Look, you're the one that's trying to take her away from her own mother, You're the one who started this, I did not you started it. Oh, come on. It. I came back after a year, and the first thing I lay eyes on is my wife getting a lewd infusion from some other guy. How were those, uh, those rug burns, well, huh? Did they heal up? Stop it. Okay, I admit it, Blair. I, I, didn't, I didn't go all new age and just forgive you. Forgive me? Come on, you didn't even tell me that you were alive. You just go berserk and steal my little girl. My little girl? But never mind. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I, I was almost... I thought we were going to get past this, finally. I could, I could deal with the image of you and Patrick Thornhart. I mean, you remember the night that Carlo died. You remember when you came clean, so to speak, about your little love affair with your Irishman. You remember also that I didn't start breathing fire and, and bouncing off of the ceiling. Because you already knew. Yeah, I knew. Not from you, not from you. My soulmate. Now, the only thing you gave me was a bunch of bull. Oh, oh Todd. I waited for you. I draped the mirrors in mourning. I, I wore only black and lived only in candlelight and never looked at another man. Never, ever, ever. It's because I was afraid of losing you, Todd. Hmm. You talk about a load of garbage. You didn't even tell me that you stole our daughter. I had to hear that from Carlo Hesser. Oh, there you go. I'm a bad, bad person. And I shouldn't be allowed near my daughter. Oh, and that makes me such a rotten mother. No, you're not a rotten... Well, there you go. Is that what you wanted to hear? Does that make you feel better? You're not a bad mother. I'm the only monster. And no matter what... You should keep that sweet little girl away from me. Oh. <laughs> Guess that settles it. Todd. Go on now, get out of here. Go get your winter coat. I don't think I'm gonna wear lavender this year. Puce, maybe. But definitely not lavender. Go on. Before I offer to testify on your behalf in the custody hearing, there. What was it? My lavender coat. Well, don't look at me. I didn't hide it. I didn't take it to goodwill. What? Nothing. I, I, I just probably made a mistake. That's all. I probably forgot to take it out of winter storage last year. So. Well, I guess you'll just have to make do with this old rag, huh? You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm not going to bite you. I know that. 